Okay, so we've just arrived at Petite, come from Tetherfield. I thought I'd start my video here on the way back to Tetherfield. And today we're flying the Sling 4. It's actually my second time flying the Sling 4. I got my conversion about a week ago. Um, and what an amazing aircraft. Hopefully I'm back in that thing soon. Today I thought I'd do a review on the Sling 4. I've done a review on the Sling 2 before, um, but this is, you know, just a little bit better. We've got a 914 turbo engine in here, obviously four seats, full garment suite like the normal Sling 2s, um, with a few backup steam gauges as well. Um, I believe on this aircraft the wing is actually a little bit longer, hence the reason why it can carry more fuel, um, but the greatest thing about that is that it's really stable in the air. Um, you know, once you get onto that step, this thing moves properly and you've barely feel any turbulence at all but yeah all in all it's pretty much like a sling to just with four seats and a little bit of power so the reason i'm here at petite with the sling four is i just wanted to come and have a look at my plane see how everything was going all the test flying and what a great way to arrive to come and see your plane is to be coming here by plane as well and that is my radial engine <laughs> flying around there doing its test flying Hopefully we'll get hold of that thing soon and be doing some flying in there. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys on the plane. Traffic Yankee Alpha Yankee entering and lining up runway 21 uh, will be a straight out departure for Tetherfield Yankee Alpha Yankee. And welcome to today's video. I didn't start talking until just now. My <laughs> GoPro has actually turned around on the wing here. Um, but yeah, we're in the Sling 4. <laughs> I completely forgot that I was filming today. Um, we're in the Sling 4 and we've just taken off out of Pete. Um, hopefully this camera here is over my shoulder is catching everything. Um, so basically what we're going to do, we're going to route to Teddyfield where this aircraft is actually manufactured. Um, 
at about 6,500 feet and then um, we'll show you how the autopilot works, how the Garmin G3X works, um, how everything sort of happens here yeah, on this uh, Sling 4. So it is four seats, it's a little bit nicer of a Toro than uh, the Sling 2. Um, the wings are a little bit bigger so it's quite a lot more stable. Um, but yeah, all in all, so far this is my second or third flight in the aircraft and this is an absolutely amazing aircraft, such a dream to fly. Um, so what we're going to do, we've got a flight plan set up. I'm going to switch the autopilot switch on. Temperatures and pressures are all in the green. And then what we're going to do is come up here and autopilot engage. So then we're going to hit nav, alright, and that should vector us now onto our course. Uh, we're going to go 6,500 feet and altitude. Okay, now it's going to send us down to 6,500 feet, from 6,800 feet, and this aircraft will fly itself all the way back home now. Um, we put two waypoints in, one being Springs Airfield, um, the second being Romeo Alpha, which is a NDB. Uh, this picks up via GPS, but all still, you know, works pretty darn nicely. Um, so yeah, this is the Sling 4. This is what you use for, um, you know, your cross-country type flights. Uh, I honestly can't say a bad thing about this. Currently cruising at 105 knots indicated, uh, 118 knots true, and then uh, 120 knots across the ground. So we should get back to Tetherfield pretty darn quickly. Okay, so we're coming up on Springs Airfield here. So what I want to do is just vector us off slightly. Um, so we'll fly to the uh, eastern side of Springs Airfield. I just want to let them know that we are in fact flying that way. Traffic in there, Johannesburg, Special Rules East, Yankee Alpha Yankee is a sling forward 6,500 feet just to the northern side of Springs Airfield now, routing in a southerly direction on the eastern side of Springs uh, for Tetherfield, Yankee Alpha Yankee. Alright, so we're, we're in heading mode at the moment, it's flying a 159 degree heading. As soon as we clear our Springs Airfield here, give ourselves about 3 nautical miles, 4 nautical miles, uh, we'll route back down south uh, for uh, at a field. If anyone, if you guys wanting to buy an aircraft for touring, this is the aircraft to get. This is the Sling 4. Um, if you can't afford the Sling TSI, of course, we will be doing a review in the Sling TSI. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've fallen in love with this aircraft. I mean, the, the whole avionics suite, the autopilot, um, the handling, it's just, yeah, it's a step above the rest, I think. But yeah. As you can see, absolutely amazing aircraft, it's a uh, one of a kind, I'm so proud of the fact that this aircraft is actually built in South Africa, um, you know, half an hour away from where I live, uh, it's just, to see the things coming out of the South Africa actually makes me, you know, really happy and, and really excited. But yeah, we're currently cruising at 110 knots, 122 true, and 119 over the ground. Um, and you know, the most amazing thing about this aircraft is that it actually slows down very quickly as well. I mean, as soon as you pull the power back, that prop completely goes flat. Um, you know, so much drag, you'll slow down from, uh, you know, 110 knots all the way down to 80 knots in a matter of seconds, um, which is your flap speed, and then you can obviously prepare for your landing. Um, so everything is, you know, quite easy on this aircraft. Uh, you just got to monitor all the systems instead of fly the aircraft, which some people prefer. Um, some people prefer to fly the aircraft. To me, I think I'm a little bit of both. Um, you know, and I, I do love to fly a stick and rudder, but I also like to fly on a flight plan, especially if you've got passengers, um, just makes the, the ride a lot more smooth um, and, you know, a lot easier. Okay, we're coming in on our fix here now. Alright, so it's just captured um, our GPS line now, all the way back to Tetherfield, uh, which is cool. I mean, hands are flying, and you know, this is what makes flying this aircraft so easy. Okay, so we've probably got about another 15 minutes um, before we get to Tetherfield. So we'll see you guys on our descent. Okay, so what 
Welcome back, we're here in our descent now. Um, Metafield is just there in front of us. We will probably be landing on runway 29, maybe a little bit of a crosswind coming from there. Um, but uh, this is quite a skinny runway to get into. Uh, I don't know if my GoPros are going to capture it too well. Um, but yeah, amazing airfield, uh, very big space, lots of hangars, and we'll bring the power back. Autopilot disengaged, so that comes off, and autopilot up here comes off. Alright, so we'll just bring the power back, and we're arriving at Tetherfield, 6,400 feet. from the right, so we'll land on runway 29. Tetherfield traffic, Yankee Alpha, Yankee now overhead the field, uh, we'll be joining on the right downwind, runway 29. Yankee telling right base, runway 29, full stop. Caution, terrain. Yankee turning final approach, runway 29, full stop. Thanks very much, uh, you guys, for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the video of the Sling 4, um, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.